literally have no weapons except for my bare head. <sighs> Found our first meal of the day. It's never a good thing when you got to pick it out of a crevice. <laughs> no way I'm going hungry tonight. Let's go. Just spotted a massive fish in these tide pools right here. He's coming towards me, he's coming towards me. This is it, this is it. We're going for revenge. We're going to take back what we lost, and that's blood. We have just touched down on this absolute incredible coastline, guys, and for the next 24 hours, I'm gonna be surviving with only these bad boys right here. Yep, my bare hands. I don't know how the hell we're gonna get food on this mission, guys. Let's take a look what we got in our backpack to start. Number one, we got a wetsuit top. That's just gonna protect me against animals, the reef, all that type of stuff. We got a drone, that's not really gonna help us. We got GoPro and GoPro batteries. This bad boy right here, this is our mask, guys. This is gonna hopefully allow us to see underwater and see if we can find some type of food on our bare hands. Literally nothing else in the backpack. Now we know what we have to complete this challenge. Let's start making our way along this coastline. We got a deep drop off just up here, and I think that's gonna be an epic spot to get in the water and see if we can find some type of food. <sighs> All right, we need to go. Buddy, we are punched it up the coast right now into some psycho coastline. Look at this. We got big caves out there, and this is where we need to get to. Off on that edge right there. That is where we're going to find our food. Oh, look at this, guys. Found our first meal of the day right now. Look at this. You can see these snails right here, and these will come in handy a little bit later on if we can't find any type of food. So it's never a good thing when you got to pick it out of a crevice. But uh, that right there, that is going to be some type of food later on. <laughs> Who am I? Right, let's go. No way, bro. Look at this. It's like a little worm or snake or something. What is this? You see him moving? Look at him. Poor thing. He's just moving in like circles, man. All right, I need to make sure that this is not going to kill me, but uh, he doesn't look too deadly. Let's pick him up. What is he doing in here? Let's get him out of here. Get him into this bigger tide pool. All right, he can chill right here. I don't know what the hell he's doing, man. He's skitsing out more than me right now. Oh, what the hell? Man, this would have been the easiest meal ever, bro. Look at that crab right there. He's obviously been left in these tide pools and died in some type of way, but that's not a bad crab right there. That thing probably would have gone all right over a fire. We'll leave him, all the fish and everything will feed on him. Alrighty guys, we're gearing up right now. We're getting to that back ledge out there. I feel so naked, man. I literally have no weapons except for my bare hands. But let's go see what we can find, baby. We need to get food because I want to have one mad cook up later on. <laughs> All righty, we've got the sea cucumber. What do we do with him? All right, I want to keep him just in case we can't find anything else for breakfast. That was absolutely insane out there, man. Did you guys see all those crayfish? They were just a little bit too small. So what we ended up with was this big black, you know what it is. Anyway, this is a big old sea cucumber, AKA the water pistol, guys. And right now, what I'm thinking is, do I want to eat this? Could be a meal right here. As you guys know, I've eaten these in the past and they taste like absolute rubbish. So 
What I'm thinking right now is I'm thinking I'm gonna let it go. I think we can find something a little bit better later on. That is the plan of attack anyway. I'm gonna bet on myself and we're gonna go let this thing go. Just doesn't look right to eat, does it? <laughs> We're putting him back. There's no way we're eating that bad boy. We literally ended up with nothing. All we got is those snails right now, but that tide is draining out. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna leave the tide pools, pockets of water, and all the animals are gonna get stuck in those pockets of water. From there, hopefully we can find some type of food on our bare hands. We're going hunting, baby. We need to get food on our bare hands. There's no way I'm going hungry tonight. It's not happening. Let's go. You can see, this is all the tide pools right here. There's all these pockets of water. And we're just hoping that there's an animal stuck in these pockets. <sighs> Lift that one up. Doesn't really look like there's anything there. All right, let's keep moving. I think we found some food, guys. Look at this. Let's just pop him off this rock. I do not want to get spiked by this bad boy. Got this sea urchin. We can actually eat this bad boy. I'm going to pop him open quickly. Now, inside these sea urchins, guys, there's actually its gonads right there. And that's that orange stuff. Shout out to all the New Zealanders out there. I know how much you guys enjoy this. Let's get it down. It's almost like creamy, a little bit salty. It's like a super unique flavor, but I actually don't mind it. So that's gonna be a good snack. But let's go see if we can find something a little bit more substantial across these flats. There's gotta be some good stuff in here. Let's keep going. Oh my goodness, guys. I've just spotted a massive fish in these tide pools right here. I don't know exactly what it is, but he's just up here. Him coming up towards me right here. It's him right there. I'm gonna get on this side of him. He's just cruising, man. He's just going underneath that rock right there. What we need to do is we need to somehow push him up in this direction and funnel him up there. He's right here, he's right here. Oh my goodness, do you guys see that? You guys can see him, he's just come out. What I'm gonna try to do is push him up in this direction. We can push him up into the shallows and we can get our hands on him. Oh, he's coming towards me, he's coming towards me, he's coming towards me. This is it, this is it. Oh, oh he's just caught me up. Look at that, guys. Oh, he's just cut me real bad. That's not good. Look at this right here, guys. He's absolutely shredded up my hands. We got some mad cuts down there. We definitely need some stitches, but we'll get that sorted another time. Right now, we're not finishing this challenge this way. We're going for revenge. We're going to take back what we lost, and that's blood. I know exactly where all those fish hang out, guys, but we need to deploy some secret weapons. Let's go. I got an idea. Hands have been absolutely shredded, so I've deployed the help of all the local guys to hopefully get revenge. Where do we need to go to? I need to get revenge on these fish. I think we go there. A lot of them there. A lot of them out there. All right, we're going to this island out here. We've got the spear gun right here, so yeah, at least we can try get something. Yeah, it was supposed to be a hand challenge, but you guys can see I've been absolutely shredded to pieces. We got Gio, the absolute legend. You guys might remember him. He's helped me with all my challenges here in Indonesia. We got a few other lads out back here. What's your name? Eric. Eric. You got Eric right here. What's your name? Agun. Agun? Yeah. All right, Agun, Eric, and Gio. Plan of attack is if we can get fish, we're going to have one mad cook up on one of these islands out here on sunset. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I've never wanted to kill a fish so bad in my life right now. The thing has literally ripped me up. Yeah, this one. So you can see this guy right here. That's from the same fish that cut me. So revenge time. Yeah, revenge. <laughs> we both need to get revenge on him, guys. That is the island that we're heading to right now. That is where the fish is that we need to get revenge, baby. It is personal right now. Let's go. Woo. Oh my goodness. How beautiful. <laughs> so good, man. <laughs> oh, this is paradise. <laughs> Alrighty guys, we're gearing up right now. You can see the island is out behind me. Apparently this is like a really good zone to get fish. I'm actually going to respect the rules of this challenge and I'm only going to run bare hands. We're wearing no gloves or anything. We should probably have stitches underneath there, but uh, you know how it goes. We're going to jump in the water and uh, we'll see if blood attracts sharks, eh boys? <laughs> you can't swim, can you? Can't. <laughs> Gio can't swim, so I'm getting in the water. I'll get you some fish, okay? <laughs> You're welcome. Let's go.
boys this one is expensive expensive one yeah. is it good okay be careful <laughs> careful <laughs> you don't want to end up like me <laughs> alrighty we've just touched back down on the island <laughs> all the fish that we speared right here you want to pass them up oh look at that right there look at the colors on that fish what do you call this in your country uh kau. 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 okay and look at this absolute monster Red right fans. there <laughs> all right that's our food boys they're just going to anchor the boat out back and uh I think all of us are just going to set up for some sunset cook-up. Look at this. We got one monster right there. And we got another one right here. What do you reckon? Here for sunset? Yeah. yeah. Revenge. We got revenge. And we're going to show you guys where this thing and how this thing cut me up in a little bit once we get to cleaning this thing up. But uh, we got revenge. Maybe not a high five. Maybe a knuckles. Because this thing's still cool. Yeah. <laughs> we are right here. And the boys, they're going to show me how they cook up fish in your country, eh? Yeah. All right, they're going to show me. They got a little bit, a few secret ingredients, hey? Secret one. Secret, okay. So, <laughs> fingers crossed, guys, we're trying something that we've never had before. As long as you don't make me sick, that's all that matters. Because <laughs> I'm already hurting today. <laughs> we've got our two fish right here. And uh, this one, this is actually the one that cut me up this morning. This one. You can see that one right there, guys. This is what they call a surgeon fish, and they've literally got these two blades on the back of their tail right there. And uh, that right there, that will literally slice you up. They're like reverse blades. As you guys saw, the one I got taken out by was only a small one of these. So I'm super lucky that, you know, I probably only got a few stitches in there worth of cuts. But uh, this one right here, this can do some serious damage. Oh. Two blades. Okay, so you can see that that's the two blades right there. Literally like arrowheads. Look at that. That's actually insane, man. One right here, they're actually a herbivore, this fish, hey? So they don't, they eat weed. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it nearly squirted all over you, Geo. I'm not going to lie. I've never been so excited to eat a fish right now. This is revenge. This thing is just going to taste extra sweet. All right, Geo's just pulling all the guts out of this fish right here. You can see all this green stuff that's coming out of it. That's obviously what it's been eating, hey? So a lot of like seaweed and everything seaweed, like that. Yeah. yeah. So is this going to be for the fire or for a table? Uh, which one? This one. 
Uh, for fire. For fire. Okay, I've never done this before. Dig a hole and start a fire in, inside of it. Now guys, there's literally so much driftwood on this beach. Look at this. So all the boys, pretty much what they're doing is just grabbing all the driftwood and they're just chucking it in a hole. I got no idea what they're doing right now, but it's all unfolding. And uh, let's just say we're eating this fish that absolutely lit me up this morning. So I'm frothing out right now. I'm going to give you guys an honest verdict on whether it tastes good, but look, it's going to taste good either way, man. Just to kill this thing after it smoked me this morning. Oh, feels so good. It's cooking. It's cooking. It's cooking. <laughs> <laughs> it's cooking, baby. Go drop it. It's cooking in the comments right now, guys. Look at this fire. It's cooking. Let him cook. It's Let him cooking. cook. <laughs> I've never seen this before in my life, but they've just dug this big fire pit. You've got this mad fire going at the bottom here. Look at her cook right now, baby. This is going to be good. It's cooking. <laughs> this is what we live for, guys. We started out the day as a solo mission. I got absolutely sliced open. <laughs> we called on the help of the locals, and uh, you put me in the zone today. Yeah, I'm the hungry man. Yeah, hungry man. <laughs> <laughs> we got redemption on the fish, guys. That's all that matters. Boys have pretty much made these sticks that we're going to feed the fish on. What we're doing is we're waiting for this fire to burn down right now. We want to get a nice coal base going, eh, boys? Yeah. Yeah? and then we'll get the fish straight on. Here it is right here. This is revenge, boys. This is revenge right here. <laughs> oh, I hope this thing's feeling what's happening to it in the afterlife right now. <laughs> when he cut me, maybe he feel, fe uh, feel very happy. Yeah, so this, I... this fish is going to haunt us for the rest of our yeah. lives. <laughs> Look at him cook. Let him cook, man. Let him cook. <laughs> That right there, that is our food, man. <laughs> Pretty much just left all the scales and everything on it right now. So we just got it straight over the fire. Those scales should hopefully protect that beautiful white meat that's underneath it. But you can see the boys, they're actually just turning it like a barbecue right now. It's like a rotisserie. It's so sick, especially with the hole in this log. Like, it's perfect. Look at this hole in this log. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you can see right now the boys have just flipped over the fish and look at that meat right there. Woo! What are you doing? I'm uh, looking for a shell like this. You're looking for a shell? What's this? Is this for your jungle juice? Yeah. Alright, this is the secret ingredient that you're going to put in. So like a uh, take off for the uh, stick. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we need shell. Alright, yeah. let's go. Let's go walk the beach, see if we can find a shell. It's literally just like a graveyard of things that wash up here, guys. So We have a find. We have a find. For the secret sauce. Okay, this is gonna you're gonna put your jungle juice in this. Yeah. Alright, jungle juice is so going in this the one. Meat. Okay, good. <laughs> take a look at this right now. So this fish apparently is like one of the most fatty fish in the ocean. So you can see it's literally just like dripping with liquid right there. So you reckon this is a good one? Yeah, really the, good one. Really good. Okay. This magic juice. Is this the magic juice? Okay. My grandma do this. <laughs> Your grandma do yeah. this? Okay. So like this one, swing around, then everything mixed together, and I will put on sale and you taste it. <laughs> Is it going to taste good? Really good. Really good, all right. Is this grandma's recipe? Grandma recipe. <laughs> grandma recipe. <laughs> she done. All righty. This is our serving plate right here. Woo. Yeah, boys. Jangan ganggu itu itu. Itu ngeri. Oh my goodness. Magic one. Magic juice. We've had one epic day today, and thank you so much for the local boys. They've got me into this amazing feast right now that we're gonna enjoy. We got the uh, what magic juice magic right here, juice. and we've got the two fish here. So. I reckon what we do, boys, is we try each one and we see which one we like the best. Okay. And then we'll try the magic juice. I think we tried this one first, which is the one that didn't absolutely cut me up this morning. You guys can see right there. Look at that meat. Woo. What are you guys going to score? Out of 10? I think 8. I'm going to give it 8.5. 8. Okay. 8.5? 8. 8. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. What? 9? 9. 9? Okay. 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 All right. With this one. We got this one right oh, here. This one. We, try, we try it by itself and yeah. then we try with the sauce. Look at that chunk of meat right there. <laughs> this one's going to taste extra sweet because it absolutely this is lit me one. up this morning. All right. Let's give it a shot. Cheers, boys. Cheers. 9.5. 9.5. 9.5. 10. 10. 10. He's giving it a 10, guys. <laughs> 10! 10, 10, 10. 10. We got two 10s and two 9.5s. 9 9 <laughs> okay. Alright, let's try it with the, the jungle juice. Jungle juice. The jungle juice. Alright, cheers boys.
This is crazy. <laughs> oh, that's super weird. <laughs> that's like spicy. <laughs> this has been one wild time with all the locals, and I just want to say thank you so much. Thank I'm you. giving that a 10 out of 10. <laughs> this has been one epic adventure. We'll see you guys in the next one. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Sheesh!